So you might be trying to figure out how you can use Google Gemini. Now, luckily for you, it's a very basic process, a pretty basic application. So this is Google's AI tool that they basically allowed. It's like a chat GPT kind of alternative, and it's actually pretty cool. You can download it from the Google Play Store, or if you have it, you know, if you have a Google Pixel, you can hold down on the power button on the side to actually invoke it. And when you do that, you can actually get Google Gemini to actually come up, and you can expand it and come into the actual application here. So Google Gemini is pretty basic to go and use. So when you first boot up into it, you'll see this particular panel, and it will show you a bunch of stuff all throughout. In the top right, it'll just show you your Google accounts and then basically your Google account you know, layout. So nothing super crazy here, everything that you normally see before. Now, at the very top, it will give you suggestions of different things you can actually go ahead and have. Now, you can keep your suggestions there or you can click on hide suggestions to go and hide it, and that will bring you into your normal page. Now, at the very bottom, so right here, it'll show you different things and different you know, previous searches that you've done. So you can still keep them up here. You can view them, do whatever you want to do here. Now, right at the very bottom, it'll show you this type, talk, or share a photo you know, option. So what you can do is you can click onto this panel right here, and this is where you can start asking Google Gemini whatever you want. So there's an infinite amount of things you can basically ask Google Gemini, so it's going to be hard for me to just explain it throughout this one video. But you can you know, ask it anything from sending reminders to calling people to even other things too. So if I had a question, right? I can go and ask it right here. So I can say how many you know continents are there in the world or whatever. So I can ask a very basic question like that. I can go and click on basically the submit button and it will go and give me an answer, right? So it can show me exactly what I was asking for and it will show me this prompt, which is actually pretty cool. Now I can go ahead and listen to the prompt by clicking that volume button up there. At the very bottom, I can go and thumbs it up or thumbs it down, depending on whether I thought that you know particular response was appropriate or not. I can open up that specific search in Google. I can go and click on share, and I can copy that particular thing out too. And by clicking the three dots here, you'll see a few other things. You can create a public link for this search. You can draft this thing in Gmail. So many other things you can do here too. Now what you can also do here by clicking on this button again, you can also click on the microphone button. So within this microphone button, it will go and allow you to basically speak within Google Gemini and basically talk whatever you need to. So if I wanted to ask a question like, what country has the biggest population? I will go and get a response, right, of what particular country has the biggest population. Now, what I can also do at this point is I can also have a conversation about it. So if I wanted to ask, like, what's the biggest city in that country? What's the biggest city in that country? You can see I can start having a conversation about that. So you can see right here, it says the biggest city in China is Shanghai, and I can just keep having a conversation about it, or I can type it or talk it or even take an image of something. So if I wanted to take a photo of something, right, I can go and open up here. I can go and, you know, choose while using this app, and I can go and take a bat, you know, take a picture of something. So in this case, I can take a photo of this particular battery. All right, let's just say I wanted to go and know what, you know, what make this battery is for, right? Like, what is this battery used for? Now, it's probably not going to know everything. I can go and click on attach and I can go and say what the device is this battery for and this is an example of something that you know could be used and you can see now this is the camera battery right so this is based on the image the you know that's exactly what it's for it's for a Canon DSLR camera so on and so forth and this is 100% right so this is another example of something that you can use within Google Gemini and it really is a super easy process of basically going through it's actually really cool that it knows this because it is something that you know maybe a lot of people don't know but you can attach images to searches you can speak within it you can take a photo and all that stuff so that's a quick example on how to use google gemini there beyond that there's not really too many other things that you have to really kind of think about here by clicking on the top corner you can see you have settings within google gemini right here and you can go and basically change out a lot of things you can modify your public links you can also go through and change languages uh, quick phrases, you can go ahead and basically, you know, do your Gemini on the lock screen. And you have a lot of different things you can basically kind of modify here too. So it's not just one thing. There's a lot of different things you can kind of modify here as well. So that's basically how to use Google Gemini. It's nothing super complicated, but at a high level, that's essentially how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.